can you tell me a little bit about you, how you got started in veterinary medicine? I always like those, by the way. Like, what made <laughs> you want to be a vet? Maybe we should start there. Uh, okay, I have I have a dark secret. Do you know why most of us veterinarians are veterinarians? I mean, I've heard I've heard a lot of different stories, um, but no, it, no, those are individual stories. The always, whole group, we don't like yeah. humans. <laughs> It's the truth. And so as a kid, my sibling, my brother was the dog because, you know, my mom was going to graduate school and working and stuff. So my brother was the dog. And who did I come home to? It was talk to the dog. And, you know, we'd move. And who did I have? I had the dog. I loved animals. And so I can understand and relate to animals. And they don't teach us that every dog or cat must come with a human attached. <laughs> So, so individual reasons aside, but the truth is most of us don't really like people very much. <laughs> That's, you know, what's so funny about that is because I, and I didn't tell you this, I actually started out, well, no, if I go way back, I started out doing TNR with cats, feral cat okay. colonies. Okay. But when I really, really got serious about like, you know, being online and having an online presence, I became a positive reinforcement dog trainer. And that was kind of my reason too. I was like, I want to work with dogs. I am so tired of working with people. I'm so tired of dealing with people. I want to work with dogs. And then like, that quickly, it was like, oh, right. Right, <laughs> right exactly. Because 90% of dog training is human training. Absolutely. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yes. It's so funny. It's training us humans how to be positive with our dogs. Yeah. It's crazy. So. Yes, I, I like people a little bit better now, usually. Yeah. <laughs> so so that that's how it started. I've always wanted to be a vet. It kind of, it took me a little while. Um, I went and played in the Air Force for eight years after college. And then I went back to vet school. Well, and Thank you for your course. service, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So, so here I am. And why did I turn... So now I'm this, I joke with people because I, I was like, okay, now it's time for voodoo. Because um, I just don't do Western medicine anymore. People either come to me with a diagnosis or we need to do voodoo. Yeah. And, it, you know, and it, it's this, it's this muscle testing thing. It's a different yeah. talk. But it all started from clients. I had clients who had problems I couldn't fix with, with what basic veterinary medicine taught us. And it was a dog and a horse who were both limping. I knew where the problem was. Medicine didn't work. I'm like, I don't know, maybe you need a chiropractor. I didn't go to a chiropractor, but then I, they're like, well, where did you go? So I did. And then I met somebody who talked about, um, what do you call it? Animal communication. Yeah. It's if you had told me in vet school that something like animal communication existed, I wouldn't have believed you. And now it's real, you know, energy, mm -hmm. it's real. And so call it voodoo, call it weird, whatever, but whatever it takes to make these guys better, let's do it. It's awesome. Yes. Okay. So I am totally into muscle testing. I haven't been able to figure out how to do it for my animals yet, but I am, I'm teaching myself tarot. So like I sway test my tarot cards every morning. <laughs> okay. So sway test. Okay. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Once you're centered and you're sway testing yourself, now you just change who you're thinking about and you think about your dog or your cat or your yeah. child or your spouse or your friend. It's believe in yourself. Right. Which actually is really hard for a lot of people to do. It's hard because our society doesn't support that simply because mm -hmm. mainstream medicine says, give me a test, give me a test, give me a test. Yeah. But the more confident, you, you'll get good at it. Don't worry. You'll get good at it. So good. <laughs> cool. In good company. 